All right. We are on page 58. What do you guys use? What would you use to clean up spilled milk? Or spilled juice. What kinds yep. of a towel? Jack. A washcloth. How about what do you use to clean dirty dishes? Troy. A dishwasher, a washcloth. A dog. <laughs> I don't think you really do that. Uh huh. Soap. How about dirty teeth? What do you use to clean dirty teeth? Toothbrush. Toothbrush. How do you clean dirty sin? How do you clean up sin? It's not something we can do, huh? We're born into sin. But communion gives us forgiveness of sin. Our baptism gives us forgiveness of sin. Because God lived a perfect life for us. Our best is not good enough, but God's is. Let's look at why do we call God our Father? He's of the Holy Spirit. Can somebody read the Bible verse number one? Uh, it's Rex to number one. Troy? Which one of those statements in the red boxes summarizes that? The last one. Put a number one in the red part and write the verse on the line. Put number one in the bottom red box and write Galatians 3, 26 to 27 on the line. Mm -hmm. It's orange, I guess. Number one. This is the summary of it. Put number one and then write that Bible verse there. In the orange box somewhere. So you know it's number one. Somebody want to... Kate Mason, you need to do religion with us now. You can summarize it as this. So you can shorten Galatians to GL. Mm -hmm. How about number two? Who wants to read me verse number two? Which one has of those summary statements in the orange boxes? The first one. All right, so write number two in that box and write the verse on that line. If I, everyone has sinned, write number two. Sure. And write Romans 3, 23. The top box that says everyone has sinned. Number, who wants, we have a lot of extra talking going on today. Jack, 
You're going to read First John 4, 9 for me? Third box, number three, first John four nine. And the fourth verse As the Father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Psalm one hundred and three verse thirteen. God has our Father has compassion for those who fear him. Number four. It's the second box down. Psalm 103.13. The third box down. So it should be 2, 4, 3, 1. Yes. And now I want you to read those boxes and draw a face on how you would feel when you see that. Everyone has sinned. How do you feel? Draw a face next to it. I'm going to draw a straight face. I'm done. Draw a face next to each of those things. We have two words we have to define today. Somebody want to look up create in the back in their Bible dictionary? And somebody want to look up baptize in the back in the Bible dictionary? The okay, green five. section. Okay. The green section in your way back of your book. I'm pretty sure it's the green section. We need create and baptize. Make or create or design something. To bring something to life. What's baptize? Sharing, okay. <laughs> Applying. Sharing. These are your definitions. Go on the word study box on the bottom of your page. Sharing God's grace by applying. Yes. Water in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In your words today, box. Just fit as much as you can. You had some people in my book, they even went to the line below, like underneath the line for baptize because it's a big. So, anybody guess what we're talking about on the next page? Yes. Baptism. Baptism is God's work, it's not ours. Baptism is not something that we do. It's through water and his word. God's work to do many things. 
Let me know with a thumbs up when you're ready to go on to that page. Go get your religion book then when you're done with yours. And nope, it's in your cubby over there. Sorry. Fifty-eight and fifty-nine. Because people are actually working. <laughs> In the name of the Father. All right. I bet you guys can fill in number one while you're waiting, pretty much by yourself, because it's. A yep, you are right, Aubrey. Number one, in baptism, God places his name on us. The pastor pours water on our heads and says, I baptize you in the name of the and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In baptism, mom. Okay. In baptism, God makes us his children. Christ is God the... Christ? Son. God the Son. Because of him, we can call God... Jesus. Father. At Jesus' yeah. baptism, God said, Anybody know those words? In the name of the Son, in the name nope. Of the Holy Matthew 3 17. Matthew 3 17. See if anybody can beat me looking it up. Nope, nobody's going to try. Matthew 3 17. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son. 
Mm-hmm. Writing it on the board right now for you. In baptism, God says the same thing about us. We are his beloved sons and daughters. That's fine. And then in baptism, we put on Christ. When God says us, he sees. This is. This is your Sunday school answer. Micah? When God sees us, who does he see? Jace? Does he see us as sinners? We're clothed in whose righteousness? Who? Who? Jesus! Gifts for God's children. Parents love to give children gifts. God loves to give us gifts too. Let's find out what baptism gifts he gives us. Somebody want to look up baptism in their back of their book in the catechism section? Thank you, Bentley. In the catechism section. Not in that. In the catechism. That's the, the orange one. So you want to find here's baptism. Looking baptism. for what is baptism? No. Um, It's this one. Okay, right here. Go ahead and read that section. Forgiveness of sins, rescue from who? Death and the devil. Sorry, I'll move my podium in a minute. And eternal salvation, right? Write those in the pink boxes. Those are the gifts that baptism gives us. For in Christ, you are all sons of God through faith. These go in the boxes. When you are done, you are going to get this worksheet. You're highlighting all the words that include love, including love, loved, loves, beloved, which means one who is loved. And then you need to write a short thank you prayer. The gifts from baptism.